Here is a problem that can be solved two ways. It reads, sucrose decomposes into fructose and glucose. The rate law is rate equals K times the reactant sucrose. How many half-lives must occur to reach a sucrose concentration of 0.00022 molar? The initial concentration is 0 0.010 molar. We're given a half-life as 2.33 hours. Well, one might ask, why was the rate law given? Well, it gives us the order, and because the exponent is not written above the sucrose concentration, we know the reaction is first order. I point this out because many times students will complain that superfluous information is given in a problem. It is because the reaction is first order, the number of half-lives can be determined by using either of two methods. The first method uses this equation where the amount remaining can be calculated by multiplying the initial concentration by one-half raised to the number of half-lives. The unknown in this equation is the number of half-lives. So using the property of logs, we could simplify the equation down to n equals 5.51 half-lives. I'll go through it step by step. After substituting the numbers into the equation, take the log base 10 of both sides. That leads us to the third step, where we have negative 3.66 on the left side, negative 2 plus n times negative 3.01 on the right side. Log of 1 half raised to the n power to n times negative 0.301. The property of logs must be used. So the exponent n comes down as a coefficient, and the log of 1 half is taken. At this point, the fourth step and beyond is simply algebra. The second method uses the first order integrated rate equation. Here we're going to use the equation to find the time at which the concentration of sucrose is 0.00022. Before we can use this equation to find that particular time, we need to determine the rate constant. And we could use the half-life equation to do that. Rearranging the equation and substituting in the values, we find that K is 0.297. Now we could rearrange the first order integrated rate equation to solve for t. After substituting in the numbers in the rearranged equation, the time is 12.85 hours. And this is the time at which the concentration is 0 0.00022. In order to find the number of half-lives, we divide that time by the time for each half-life to get 5.52 half-lives which is in agreement with method one.